On the left, it's Asus ROG Phone 3, in the middle, it's Redmi K30 Pro, and on the right, it's Redmi K30 Ultra. Let me open IDA64, and here you get confirmation. Redmi K30 Ultra and Redmi K30 Pro is at around 29 degrees Celsius and ROG Phone 3 is at around 27 degrees Celsius. We will run CPU throttling test twice. First time let us select 20 threads for ROG Phone 3 cause it comes with Snapdragon 865 Plus. Then 16 threads for Redmi K30 Pro cause uh, it comes with Snapdragon 865. Then 12 threads for Redmi K30 Ultra cause it comes with Diamond City 1000 Plus chipset. After we run the throttling test, the first thing everyone will notice is the graph on the smartphones. On the right, it shows more yellow than green. It means there is throttling. CPU is not performing at 100% of its capability. But is that a bad thing? Does that mean anything negative about this smartphone or the chipset? Does it affect performance? First, let me tell you two things. GIPS means billion instructions per second and temperature isn't an issue if it doesn't affect real life performance. Okay, now before you get into any verdict, before you bash this video or make any comment, check the numbers underneath that graph or chart. ROG Phone 3 performance is the best in average. It processed 234 GIPS or billion instructions per second. Max was 239 GIPS and minimum was 211 GIPS. Redmi K30 Pro performance is a bit frustrating for some people, but there is a reason I will explain later. You will know if you watch through this video. In average, it processed 192 GIPS, max was 199 GIPS and minimum was 182 GIPS. I think you have already noticed that Redmi K30 Ultra performance is almost as good as ROG Phone 3. Especially max was 261 GIPS, but it was for only a few seconds. In average, it's around 225 GIPS, which is better than Redmi K30 Pro. And now look at the minimum. It's pretty low. It's even lower than Redmi K30 Pro, only 181 GIPS. Now, a lot of people would argue and say that I have selected lower number of threads for Redmi K30 Ultra and that's why it performed better. Yes, you are right. You don't have to argue, you don't have to get mad at me. You are definitely right. Now I will run again with different number of threads. I have chosen 20 threads for ROG Phone 3, OnePlus 8 Pro and Redmi K30 Pro. On the other hand, I have increased the number of threads for Redmi K30 Ultra to 18 threads. Still, it's 2 threads less than the other 3 smartphones. Some people may think it's not fair, but you must understand that Diamond City 1000 Plus is not a direct replacement or competitor of Snapdragon 865. Diamond City 1000 Plus is more like a filler between Snapdragon 765G and Snapdragon 865. Yeah, now you can see that Redmi K30 Ultra has even heavier throttling with the burden of higher threads. It's more like red and yellow rather than green. But the question is how much does it affect performance? check Redmi K30 Ultra performance. Max is still very high, 262 GIPS, almost the same as the first time. But in average, it is lower than before. It is like 207 GIPS. Why? Because this chipset is not built to handle that big task or burden. It works fine at around 8 threads and up to 12 threads, performance is consistent. But after that, I mean anything more than that, you will see decrease in performance. This is the reason you shouldn't play PUBG on Redmi K30 Ultra with high graphics and ultra frame rate. Yes, you can do that, you can play, you can select high graphics and ultra frame rate together, but you shouldn't, cause after 30 to 40 minutes you will see drop in performance. Rather, it performs very good if you select balanced graphics with high frame rate and even with ultra frame rate. Once again, I think you have also noticed that Redmi K30 Pro performance this time is far better than last time. Last time it was 199 max, 192 in average and 182 minimum. Now it is 238 max, 235 in average and 225 minimum. Ask me why? Yeah, good question. Because last time we have wasted its resources and capabilities. It can even go up to 24 threads. It will perform good there. But at 20 threads, it's great, it's consistent. Yeah, I have done many many experiments and tests before I have made this video. 
Redmi K30 Pro performance after this update to MIUI 12 is very stable and cool. Now I will run Antutu Benchmark twice, back to back with 5 minutes cooling period in between. It's turning out to be a perfect day. And you can see that Redmi K30 Ultra even if it got heated, yeah it was like showing some warning that your device is getting heated. There is not much of a performance difference. Antutu score is almost the same. So my verdict is a Redmi K30 Ultra is a good smartphone with thermal throttling. This throttling doesn't affect its performance. But think again, if MediaTek and Xiaomi could manage to keep this chipset cool, then how good this smartphone would be. And also think in this way, a smartphone with a chipset that always throttles, how long can you use this? What will be the effect in the long run? For now, it's a good smartphone within this price range with this price tag. And as there is no other replacement, direct replacement to this, it's a good choice to buy. My only worry is, in the long run, performance may decrease. Do you agree with my explanation and verdict? Please make a comment and let me know your thoughts. If you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel.